Okay, so hello there. Uh, so uh, good, uh, good afternoon. So uh, who are you and, uh, and what's your business? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Studholm. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Crowdy House. And Crowdy House is a marketplace uh, for professional designers and makers. That's furniture designers, product designers, uh, and, and interior designers. Oh, cool. And, and, how did you and how did you come up with the idea? Um, so, uh, to give you my co-founder, previously I managed another startup uh, called um, Arcello. And that is, uh, we grew that to the largest social network for architects and designers in the world. And uh, there I met a lot of designers uh, that I realized that they were looking for an adequate channel where they could sell directly to the consumer and effectively bring their products to the market. Um, my co-founder, she's actually a furniture designer and maker herself, and uh, she came across the same problem. Um, and together we decided that we needed to build a solution for this problem. Okay, and then how did you start? Um, well, we started by uh, uh, building the, the first, uh, planning out the, the business model, uh, looking to build the solutions, looking at the current solutions. Um, so you probably know Etsy. Um, Etsy is for the crafts uh, crafts person. It's a really great platform, um, but it wasn't for the professional designer. It wasn't for the designer that has their own studio that sells directly to shops normally, um, because they don't they, they don't sell on Etsy. They sell to the shops, and they want a more professional platform. Uh, so we first looked at Etsy, and then we thought, well, how can we improve on this? How can we make it for the professional designer? Uh, and we then went about building uh, building the platform, um, and we launched at Dutch Design Week, um, which is on right now, uh, in October two thousand and thirteen. Okay, so yeah, I think it's a great event to, to launch your products. Yeah, <coughs> and and um, what what is it? Uh, because uh, uh, many people uh, they know Etsy, and 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 that's uh, you, uh, uh, more consumer, I guess. Uh, did the designers also want to have something with a brand that also was uh, on the same level of the, of the designs they, uh, uh, they were making? Yeah, so the designers wanted to uh, be part of a platform that um, actually uh, Etsy is a, is a platform where you can join and you create your own shop, uh, but you have to do all of the marketing, you have to do all of the, the business uh, and the commercial side um, yourself. Uh, so we wanted to create a curated platform uh, that only accepted the best designers, um, which designers wanted as well. Um, a platform where we actually provided protection for the consumer as well, so we provide the guarantee. Uh, and a platform where we did most of the hard work in terms of finding the consumers on behalf of the designers. So uh, in return we asked for a much higher commission than, than Etsy, um, but it's a commission where if we don't sell anything they don't make anything either um, and uh, which also allows us to uh, really find the best customers for these designers okay sounds sounds a really a, a, a fair deal and and and, and, and what a way because I think one of the biggest challenges of platform is is, is is the chicken egg problem <coughs> so how did you find your ears demand and, and your ears supply uh, uh, and your first supply we first worked on the supply um, I think uh, with a marketplace uh, you really need to get the supply up before you can uh, start working on the demand. Uh, so we now have uh, 750 designers uh, in 34 different countries uh, with around 6,000 uh, different SKUs on the platform. Um, and with, with this foundation uh, of supply uh, we are now actually um, really being able to close good partnerships uh, to satisfy the demand. So, um, first of all, in terms of satisfying the demand, uh, we have a good network uh, with uh, the Design Press, uh, we have a partnership with L Decoration, uh, we've just closed a partnership with uh, Ball.com, uh, where we're actually powering a design platform on behalf of Ball, uh, and we have similar partnerships with Flinders and Vete Vona, uh, which are coming up this month, and uh, we're also running um, the bet, the, we're optimizing all of our pay-per-click campaigns as well. So we're running optimized Google ads, Facebook ads, retargeting, uh, lookalike audiences on Facebook. Um, and then we're doing a lot of affiliate marketing as well. So uh, we have a lot of relationships with blogs uh, who like to write about the brand new products that are launching on Karate House. And we have a good network of press journalists too. Okay, and, and, and you just managed, managed uh, some 
some, some partnerships. Uh, there are uh, uh, all, all Dutch partners. So uh, who is your target group? Because the designers there from everywhere in the world. But yeah. who's, who's your uh, target group when you, when you look at, at, uh, at customers? Uh, currently 50% of our customers are in the Netherlands. Um, around 20% are in mm -hmm. Belgium. 10% um, in the UK, 10% in France. And uh, we first getting everything good, our, our go-to-market strategy really uh, effective in the Netherlands, and then we um, have moved that to Belgium, and we're now moving to France. Uh, so uh, that's the next big channel for us, the next big country. Uh, we're also selling in the UK because we have an English platform. Um, but we're taking it step by step. Uh, yes, the whole world is our uh, market, uh, but first, uh, we want to get everything really good in terms of uh, having the most effective campaigns here. And now we're seeing that we're growing in different the countries that we're expanding to as well. Okay, I said, okay, uh, you're starting now uh, with the with the supply sites. You have 750 designers. That's, qu that's quite a lot. So, uh, at what way do you do you uh, convince the designers to join a platform? And also, at what way do you manage for yourself uh, uh, to say, okay, this is the, the threshold of, of, of a designer uh, and the quality I want for a designer uh, to be on our platform? Um, I mean, in what way do we attract the designers? We, we, have, a, we have a database of designers uh, that we're slowly uh, inviting to join the platform. Um, we've now got kind of our favorite 750 designers and we're now looking to add more, but slowly, when our focus now is on the demand side. Um, but how do we select the designers? How do we accept, uh, what designers do we accept? Um, so we don't accept all of the designers. Uh, we only accept designers that are a registered company. Uh, so they need to provide us with a Chamber of Commerce number. Uh, this is to protect the consumer, uh, but also to protect us because we provide a guarantee to the consumer. Uh, all the designs um, need to be contemporary and original. So the designs have to be the design from the designer themselves. Uh, the designer should have um, a production uh, plan in place uh, and they should have already shown that they can produce the quantities that they're uh, promising they can produce. So we're putting a lot of steps in place which actually protect the consumer as well and also protects us. Okay, sounds, that sounds, sounds really good. And, and uh, at what be, uh, way, because you're now uh, growing internationally, uh, what kind of uh, strategies does it bring with you, uh, uh, like, like, like transportation uh, or different culture or, or different payment systems? Yeah, I, I mean, we've worked very hard to make sure that we have all of the payment methods that are available in Europe uh, on Crowdy House, which we do now. Um, that was a challenge. We actually uh, went to Milan Design Week uh, in Italy, and uh, um, we went assuming that uh, most of them would pay by credit card, but uh, most of them pay by PayPal, so we uh, then had to uh, implement PayPal in a day or two days on the platform. Um, which went okay. Uh, so we, we're now making sure that we have all the payment methods. Uh, the, big, the big challenge in terms of going international for us um, is, is the import and export uh, rules. Uh, so when, we, um, when a company, in, well, when a consumer in the US buys a product, uh, there is uh, import duty uh, on those products. And um, also if we want to import a, a product into certain countries then they also require that we make it very clear what kinds of materials the products made from so those are some of the challenges that we're coming across right now the next one really is the shipping so we're working now on a logistics solution for the designers that will pick up the products from the designer studio uh, and deliver worldwide uh, so there's they're some of the nice challenges that we're coming across and all of these nice challenges are really uh, just allowing us to provide a better service to the designers and a better service to the consumers as well. Yeah, because as a platform you really have to, to, to focus on uh, the value you add for, 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 for your stakeholders, so I guess that's a really important one in it. So, uh, so what's the average uh, amount of money uh, that people are spending on the platform uh, per, per, uh, per item? Uh, well, per item, I would say, yeah, around 100 euros, but the average order value um, last month was 140 uh, euros. Um, and uh, yeah, what we're seeing is that uh, the second time consumers, the repeat purchases, they're starting to buy more expensive stuff as well. So uh, we, uh, we, we forecast in the future that the, um, the average order value will increase with the uh, increase in repeat customers.
Yeah, yeah, and, and that way because, because the designers there are also selling their stuff through the traditional uh, uh, stores. So at what way do they look to that the designers are also selling their stores uh, using your channels? Um, well, I mean, what's happening right now is that uh, we have this amazing database of designers now that have joined Crowdy House. Um, the companies like Ball.com uh, come to us and say, hey, uh, we really love what you guys have done. You've built a really good community of designers. Uh, we actually want to start selling design as well, but uh, you guys have done such a good job at building this community and you know how designers work and you've made it very easy for them to upload their products that let's just work together and then you can supply us with, with the design. So what Karate House is becoming is more of an umbrella for the designers uh, in many ways that we, we will connect other retail channels to Karate House as well um, and be more of the middleman. I, the the end result for us is, or the end goal is that um, all consumers go to Crowdy House, of course. Uh, but we want to provide these solutions for designers that allow them to sell all over the world too. Okay, and 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 uh, you said okay, we're, we're also entering new countries. So so uh, your office is based in Amsterdam, I guess. Yep. Uh, and what way do you enter a new country? Uh, because uh, 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 do you also open a, a, a local office, or how do you do it? Um. Uh, we tend to um, when we've now we've now just opened in France, so we translated the whole site into French. Um, we obviously made the, the French subdomain, uh, and we uh, also translated all the products into French. Um, and what we do is we just get our it's a soft launch really. So we get our most successful products, um, uh, our most successful uh, campaigns, and uh, start running those in France as well, uh, and see the results of that before we go any further. Okay, and, and do you also see that 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 like uh, also the, uh, because uh, the designers are also from different countries? Uh, do do you also see the differences in how they look uh, to this new way of selling their 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 their, their stuff? Uh, are uh, different? Are se are some countries more open to it or? Um, the Italian designers are very open to uh, joining Karate House and selling their products uh, and uh, finding uh, and working with us, for example. Um, I think, does that answer your question? Um, I mean, we. It, it also depends that we, we have an Italian uh, design scout, so he's very good at speaking with the Italian designers and telling them about Crowdy House. Um, we've got lots of Dutch designers, mostly Dutch designers, have, uh, is that, that's the highest percent now. Uh, a lot of UK designers as well. Um, also Scandinavian. So I don't see many patterns really in terms of what designers which country more design f from which country more designers would like to join us? I think all countries have a lot of great furniture designers and makers that uh, need our services. Yeah, and, and how many people are working at uh, at your company? Uh, so we currently have fifteen full time uh, uh, full time people, um, and uh, we have uh, some of our development team in Bucharest as well, uh, and then we have uh, our operations and marketing in Amsterdam. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and, and how did you manage to finance it? Did you all finance it yourself or did you get some crowdfunding or, or some other stuff? Uh, we raised a seed round of investment, so we were part of the Rockstar Accelerator. Uh, so we were on Rockstar uh, last year, we were on the last year's group. Um, and uh, joining Rockstar really helped us and helped us grow our network a lot as well in the, in the startup world and also the investor world uh, in the Netherlands, but also throughout Europe. Uh, so that helped us with raising a seed round as well. Okay, and and and, and what besi uh, besides besides uh, the 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 investor part were uh, uh, more the, the benefits of joining uh, such an incubator? Yeah, I would say uh, yeah. As, so with Rockstar, I mean, the Rockstar is just a fantastic network uh, in uh, in Amsterdam. Um, I think uh, there's maybe a hundred startups in the Rockstar building. Uh, alone uh, in Amsterdam, and it's it. I would It's an it's an ecosystem there. Uh, so all the startups know each other, and we share a lot of ideas. Um, so you have three D hubs there. You've got PAB, uh You've got a lot of really good uh, startups that are successful now, um, where they share the knowledge. But they also have, for example, um, a lot of past uh, entrepreneurs come in and uh, speak to you about. Uh, their their past successes and their past failures as well. So there's a lot to learn there. So it's the ecosystem that just helps uh, startups in general, which Rockstar's building in Amsterdam, which is really great. 
Okay, and 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 uh, like uh, when you're now in Rockstar and a entrepreneur comes to you who, who wants to be build a, a similar marketplace. So, what will be the lessons, uh, the successes, and the failures that you want to share with uh, with uh, him or her? Um, don't spend. Uh, just go simple with the technology. Uh, the most important thing is uh, that you get uh, a minimal viable product out there. Uh, that you get something out there which says, okay, this is what we're building. Uh, you can join us. You can start with a spreadsheet as well. Just get something out there. Go lean and make sure that you don't spend a lot of time thinking about what you want it to become, but start seeing what people want it to become uh, rather than what your, your ideas are. I think that's the most important thing. Just get the idea out there and get some feedback on it and then start progressing from there. Yeah, again, lean methodology. Okay, the cool. Biggest yeah. learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I do recognize it from, from quite some entrepreneurs. And, and let's say when we would talk again in, in, in two years, uh, yeah. where do you think Quarty House is, uh, is, uh, is by then? I think we'll be, uh, I mean, the, the, the big, I see a huge market in China uh, for European design. Um, I see there's a big opportunity there. Uh, that we have a lot of high quality designers. Um, I see um, I see us expanding throughout Europe as well um, and becoming this solution for designers that provides all the services for them. Um, and then of course uh, we will actually with the shipping solution with that up and running we'll then be able to sell anywhere in the world. So the big thing there is that we'll be able to sell anywhere which is, which is really exciting for us. Yeah, cool, sounds good. So uh, I say thank you for the interview. Yeah. And uh, good luck uh, with, uh, no, with the building. You. And uh, I'll talk to you in a year and, uh, or two years, and then we'll see what, uh, what happens. Thank you. Yeah, cool.